Sri Di Sai Parivar NESSP celebrated the Shankar Stapna or the Foundation Stone Laying Ceremony at Groton, Massachusetts on August 29th for a permanent Sri Di Sai Temple. This event also marks the beginning of the first of the two phases of constructing a magnificent 40,000 square feet temple complex which when completed will be the largest Sri Di Sai Temple in North America. The first phase is expected to be completed by July 2016 and will include the main temple building, kitchen and dining areas and community rooms. A subsequent phase will add residential quarters for the temple priests and a 500-seat auditorium. The groundbreaking celebration started in the morning around 8.30 a.m. where participants were welcomed by soothing music and they joined a palky procession of Sai Baba around the event site. The decorations around the event site and the music created a divine atmosphere for everyone to soak in. The Palki procession was followed by an inauguration by the Chief Guest Consulate General of India, Mr. Nyaneshwar Mule, who had traveled all the way from New York to grace this occasion. The rest of the day unfolded, starting with a special sankalp, appointed resolve, chanted by the priests, to proceed with the temple construction plan along with the various blessings to accrue to individuals, families, and everyone at large. The Sankalp was followed by Mahaganapati Puja and Kalash Thapna amid chanting of sacred verses by the temple priests. Then came the Samuhik or the collective Mahalakshmi Sai Havan which was a pure spectacle to participate in. 108 Havankuns, or fire pits, were neatly arranged in several rows in which hundreds of families participated in. A main Havankun was also set up by the priests. In many ways, this was a first-time experience for most participants due to the sheer scale. Any SSP volunteers provided all the puja materials and assistance during the Havan to the participating families. The procedures for performing the havan were completed with due religious formalities. The havan concluded with the Purna Ahuti or the complete oblation amid chanting of Sai Nath Maharaj Kije that rent the air. It was truly a divine experience. We had a chance to be at this sacred occasion and we also had a chance to speak with some key members associated with the organization and this project. Here's a special report brought to you by the Foundations TV and online media company, spreading inspiration through awareness. Just for, just for five minutes, sit down wherever you are. My hand Om Sai Namo Namaha Shri Sai Namo Namaha Jai Jai Sai Namo Namaha Sadguru Sai Namo Namaha Is Shubha Prabhat me aapke saath hone ka jo saubhagya mujhe mil raha hai उसकी मुझे बहुत खुशी हो रही है आप सबके साथ हमारे साई बाबा हैं उनके आशीर्वाद है आप भारत में हो जापान में हो यूके में हो या अमेरिका में हो हमारे साथ जो है हेलो वी थिंक दैट गॉड इज एवरीवेयर सिमिलरली Sai Baba is everywhere and he is with us this morning. He has come all the way, just like all of us, crossing the distance of thousands of kilometers to bless us here this morning. Let's welcome him with huge applause and say that the community, the Indian community, the South Asian community, the American community with which, with whom we live here, all of us are ready to celebrate his establishment, Pratishthapana here, and we continue to seek. India has been described as a blessed country. Sujalam Sufalam is how we describe our country. 
and it has been an abode and residence of millions of gods. हम कहते ही हैं हमारे यहाँ तो लाखों में भगवान और वो इसलिए है कि हर दिल में हर हृदय में भगवान बसता है और हर एक का अपना भगवान होता है ऐसी हमारी श्रद्धा है श्री साई बाबा का जो जीवन है वो हमारे लिए बहुत ही प्रेरक है इज लाइफ हैज बिन इंस्पिरेशनल फॉर द सिंपल वैल्यूज ऑल पीपल टुगेदर ही वॉज सपोज टू बी अ मुस्लिम बट ही लिव्ड नीदर लाइक अ मुस्लिम नॉर लाइक अ हिंदू नॉर लाइक अ क्रिश्चन नॉर लाइक अ जू नॉर लाइक अ पारसी ही लिव लाइक अ ह्यूमन बींग अ प्योर हार्टेड पर्सन There was no distinction in his life. He loved everybody. Whosoever came to him got his affection, love and peace from him. Such is his charisma, charisma that during his own lifetime he had become a legend. And now just as the fragrance of our matrubhumi jis tarah se bharat ki khushboo दुनिया में फैल रही है उसी तरह भारत के संस्कृति के जो अलग अलग अंश है वो भी दुनिया में जा रहे हैं और इस अंश का सबसे अच्छा कोई प्रतीक हो तो वो ये है कि भारत की जो सीख है कि जो साई बाबा के जीवन में और सीख में प्रतीत होती है वो है श्रद्धा और सबूरी श्रद्धा और सबूरी तो हमें ये जरूर सीखना है इनफैक्ट मैं समझता हूँ कि द लाइफ ऑफ ऑल इमिग्रेंट्स जय साई नमो नमः सदगुरु साई नमो नमः ओम साई नमो नमः श्री साई नमो नमः जय साई नमो नमः सदगुरु साई नमो नमः श्री सचिदानंद सदगुरु साई नाथ महाराज की नाउ वी डू स्टार्ट विथ संकल्पुत्रुत गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु हो गुरु विष्णु हो गुरु देव हो गुरु देव हो महेश्वर है महेश्वर है गुरु साक्षात गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्मा पर ब्रह्मा तस्मै श्री तस्मै श्री गुरवे नमः गुरवे नमः गुरवे गुरवे सर्वलोकाना स्वाहा 
Welcome to Foundations TV, everybody. We are here on location for a Samohik Puja, which is going on as a groundbreaking ceremony for the New England Shirdi Sai Parivar. It is a beautiful morning. The skies are clear. The sun is shining bright. And we have some wonderful people who have traveled all the way from New York. We have the Consulate General of India, Mr. Nyaneshwar Mule, who is the chief guest at this event today. So first of all, welcome to Foundations TV. Welcome to Boston. Thank you so much. I really appreciate this. And uh, what I feel is, uh, you know, this is a great moment for all of us, a proud moment. Uh, the reason is, uh, when such a temple is created, you get one more opportunity to serve the local community. And by local community, I do not mean only the Indian community. Certainly, it will serve the Indian community, but it will also give an introduction to our culture, our heritage, our values, to the larger American society. So in my view, uh, such a temple uh, becomes a community center. It becomes a center for service to the people. It becomes a center to unite people from all religions, all castes certainly, all languages in India and all castes in India. And uh, the beauty of such a temple when you build it thousands of kilometers away from our you know, motherland, India, is that it gives you a sense of uh, unity, a sense of community, a sense of support, and sense of a feeling that, well, we might be away, uh, maybe for generations, maybe thousands of kilometers, but in spirit, we are continuously linked with our homeland. I think there is no other feeling that can beat uh, this particular feeling, and I would like to congratulate the board of trustees and all the volunteers who have worked and are working and going to work uh, for this particular temple. Thank you. Wonderful, wonderful. It's quite an honor to have you here. Yeah. And Amit, would you like to share some of your thoughts? Um, first of all, congratulations to the temple board and the foundation. Um, having lived in Boston since 1973, where there was nothing like this, this is quite historic and an amazing chapter in our lives where we have temples such as these arising. And just to add, we are only a number of miles away from Concord where Thoreau and Emerson 
where we had some of the greatest writers who talked about transcendentalism, which were influenced by our country. We had some of the greatest minds of India arriving here in America. So how auspicious it is to be here in this region, to sort of bring it all together and show, as, as the Consul General pointed out, the relationship building that we have between United States and India. It all starts here. Wonderful, wonderful. We also have Mahindraji. Please come forward. So, we would like to take this opportunity to thank you, the Honorable Council General of India, who took all the time you know, from his busy schedule and come all the way from New York to grace this occasion and provide us, connect that bridge. I think he, I heard him in the previous you know, occasions, he always talk about that bridge, building the bridge from India. And I think this is one of the occasions that you know, we wanted to connect, the diaspora wanted to connect back to the motherland and maintain the tradition. So this facility would obviously provide that uh, not only for the current generation but our future generations to nurture that culture and heritage. And I would like our Council General to say about the bridge, you know, he always wanted to say to Dispora. Well, uh, temples, you know, are the biggest bridges in so many different ways. They bring the community together, they bring the people from different nationalities together, they become a source of uh, inspiration, a source of peace in today's world when there's so much of stress all around us, so much of competition, so much of uh, demands on our time, energy. Temples bring that very, very uh, necessary peace and harmony. Uh, and I think uh, my earnest desire, wish and hope is that this temple becomes a kind of a center where people of all hues, people of all backgrounds, they congregate here and meditate, think and contemplate about the larger issues of peace and harmony in the world. That's how you know, I see this as a becoming a very effective bridge uh, you know, among communities and among nations. Thank you. And I think excellent point, uh, as Council General has said that, the temple is not only the spiritual center of excellence, and we are happy that you know in this organization we do a lot of meditation and community services. It is not only for the Indian community. We have people who come to our temple and participate in these free meditation classes, yoga classes. If you also see that in our Hindu culture, we wanted to make sure that we only take whatever is necessary. If you see the site around us, we made sure that we do not disturb the ecosystem of the land. We also maintain the environment. We have the wetland behind it. There is a lot of endangered species. So we did talk to our professional team and we took utmost care that we do not you know, destroy the habitats there and we live in harmony with them. So this is one of the main themes for this temple. It will be the great institution which not only the town of Groton and New England would be proud of, but the whole of India you know, would look back and then say, you know, we are spreading that culture and heritage far away from our mother motherland. Jai Sai Ram. So uh, we do actually also do a lot of spiritual activities in addition to uh, the cultural activities as well. Charitable activities is where Baba's uh, spreading the message is most important. If you see every Thursday um, we donate to the Lowell Shelter and all those other charitable activities we do as well. Every day uh, volunteers come to the temple and they uh, prepare the food. So it's like a brotherhood that everybody comes together and they cook the food, they spread it across um, to all the people that come across without any charge. So this is uh, becoming a center of uh, what we call as a community center. Uh, more than being a temple, we call it a Sai community center where all these community activities and spiritual activities go hand in hand along with spreading the message of Baba. Thank you. And that I can attest to. Certainly it's a community centre. We see that today. We've seen it before at the centre itself. And we wish uh, the entire community all the best. And this is, this is a wonderful uh, step. Congratulations.